Hey everyone! We're still really enjoying playing around with this artificial intelligence. If you're curious about it, I'll leave a link to our tutorial on how to use it. This time we've input a random collection of extremely cute Pokémon, and let the program run, so let's go check it out! What I love the most about this is that you never know what you're going to end up with. There's always a couple that are really cool or unexpected. Like this one's eyes. These eyes are amazing. <laughs> the, the face is perfect. It's almost got perfect symmetry as well, which is really cool. This one immediately felt like a fairy type. Just upon seeing it, I was like, this guy, he's got like two little leaf blades. He looks kind of like he's almost in a little jester's cowl. You can see the smile. I like how one of his eyes is probably behind this little hat. I like its pose. I like everything. I think this one could be a really cool Pokemon. This is the first one that caught my eye upon seeing the page. I immediately was like, it made Kirby, which is <laughs> really cool to me. I kind of like the leaf thing that's going on on top of it. That's neat. And also kind of having a Kirby Pokemon that any Pokemon that it attacks, it immediately takes their type onto itself. So all their moves are like half effective. That'd be a neat Pokemon. And here's another Kirby with Moth Wings. Obviously with Igglybuff and Cleffa, there was going to be some Kirby-esque looking things, but they're still really neat looking, and I never really even thought about the potential of having Kirby be a Pokemon. This one could definitely even be an evolution of the one that we just saw previous. I like these. So with this one, and the one down here, we definitely almost got a perfect Why Not and Igglybuff. Which is surprisingly rare, when using the AI you never really get a perfect input image back out. Obviously, they're not perfect, but it's crazy that we got something so close to the original images because that doesn't really happen all that often. Also, with this Why Not one in specific, you never really see Why Not open his eyes, so it's kind of terrifying to envision that it's just empty. <laughs> it's not crazy to think. It's just a mouth under his eyes, too. This one definitely has kind of a Bound Sweet vibe. I really like the fruit as Pokemon look. <laughs> I, I've been playing Arceus a lot. And I think that looking up in a tree and seeing a Pokemon like this sitting there wouldn't even be surprising or out of place. It definitely has the look of one of those fruit type Pokemon. This is another one of those full pain images that give like a really cool background to the Pokemon, which makes it look a hundred times cooler already. I like the big leaf on its head. It has very visually striking shapes and colors to it. I like how its chest is almost a leaf. And I also like how the AI seemingly put a light source in this image. It's clear that the eye shine is coming from a single direction and most of the shading is as well, which is very cool. Whenever we generate a new set of Pokemon, it always brightens my day. I absolutely love seeing them. Now we're going to choose one and turn it into a 3D model. We chose this one. The shapes and colors really spark my imagination. I like the thought of a lily pad Pokemon, kind of like Lotad, or a regional variant evolution of Lotad that's water psychic or something. To make this model, I just kept it really simple. Low poly with a few levels of subdivision to make everything appear smooth. Simple shapes stacked on top of each other, nothing too fancy. The end result isn't necessarily game ready, but it would just take some retopoing and it would be good. I really enjoy creating things, but sometimes it's kind of difficult to decide what to make. Which is why I like the AI designs so much. They give me an end goal, and it's kind of a challenge to attempt to make a model out of it. As well as along the way your imagination flares up and you're like, oh I'm gonna put a lily pad on top of this guy's head, or oh it would be cool if he had like little horns or something like that. It's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy it. I kept the color simple. Each object is one solid color, which really speeds up the process if you can skip texturing entirely. I like making the eyes animatable, which sometimes I do with textures, but with this model I made a couple different eyelid objects and just keyframed their visibility. I find that having something as simple as eye blinking and just a little bit of movement gives the model personality and really helps bring it to life. Overall, the entire process of modeling, rigging, and animating took about an hour. I was pretty pleased with the end result, and I hope you guys like it. If you're interested in checking out all the results we've gotten so far, we've got all of the AI outputs on our Patreon. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe, leave us a like, and tell us what you think in the comments. Thank you again, stay safe, I love you all, goodbye!